Hey guys, welcome back to our VCP 6.5 ICM hands-on training. This is lab 10 in our series. This is a very quick lab or small lab rather. In this lab, we'll go ahead and explore and we'll work with the NFS storage and we'll see how can you mount or access the NFS storage on your ESXi host and we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the information of your NFS storage. We'll see if we can write to the NFS storage and do some of the CRUD operation. So this is the high level objective uh, that we plan to cover. And this lab will go ahead and configure or mount the NFS as a data store. And then we'll go ahead and view the storage information and we'll go ahead and see if we can do read and write to your NFS data store or not. With that, let's uh, quickly jump into the hands-on. So we have logged on to our vSphere web client and we have been working with the different uh, data stores. Uh, to mount the your NFS, we can do it from the storage view or as well as we can do it from the host and clusters view. So we are in the storage view. We will start from the storage view itself. So on your DC one, just simply right click and you can go to the storage or you can click to the new data store as well. You can go ahead and click on the right hand side that says new data store. So let's go ahead and simply click on new data store. Uh, we are being presented with the new data store wizard. So let's go through the wizard. Simply go ahead and hit next here. So this time the data store type that we are working is the NFS. So go ahead and select the NFS as your data store type. Now within the NFS, there are two versions being supported, which is NFS version 3 and NFS version 4.1. Use only one NFS version to access a given data store. That means don't try to mount the same NFS uh, data store using two different version. Uh, what I mean by two different version, let's say you're trying to access the same uh, NFS data store and on one host you are trying to mount is a three. On the another host, you are trying to mount the same data store as 4.1. It's kind of not recommended and you know, uh, it can cause your data corruption and some of the other issues. With the NFS 4.1, uh, there are a few more things. If you see when I select 4.1, we are being presented with few other information, configure Kerberos authentication. Let's say if you want to have multiple IP addresses uh, assigned to your NFS data store and you want to have that redundancy, you can go ahead and make use of 4.1. So let me go ahead and click here. You will be able to provide multiple IP address for your NFS data store. At the same time, you will be able to configure the authentication if you need to do so. But in this lab, we will be working with the NFS uh, version 3. NFS version 3 doesn't support uh, multiple uh, your IP address for redundancy or the Kerberos authentication. If that's what you are looking for, you should be working with the version 4.1. So let me go ahead and select version NFS version three here. Uh, specify a data store name that you want for this one. So I will go ahead and call it my NFS. And the folder name uh, is the path on your NFS uh, data mount. So this is my path on my data mount or my NFS server. Now go ahead and specify the IP address of your NFS server. Once everything looks good or you can go ahead and specify a name also. If you just want to mount this NFS as read only, you can go ahead and select mount as read only. That means you're only interested in reading some information, not ever writing. Uh, you can go ahead and mount this very well as in read only. But in this case, we will be using our NFS mount for both reading as well as writing. So I'm not checking this box. Now just simply go ahead and hit next here. Now we are being presented. Okay, hey, select the host that require access to this data store. So we can mount this NFS onto one host or against to the multiple host. Mounting on multiple hosts will serve as a purpose of a shared data store. That means this data store, this NFS can be used as a shared data store that is accessible on all the hosts. So let me go ahead and uh, just simply do it on all the hosts this time. So we will go, or if you just want one, yeah, you can very well just go ahead and select only one. I'll just go ahead and show you that we can mount on multiple hosts at the same time. So let me go ahead and hit next here. And now you're being presented with some of the information. Hey, these are the hosts that we will be mounting and now just simply go ahead and hit finish here and if everything is okay uh, looks good we can see our new data store is being mounted successfully and the name of the data store is my nfs it's nfs version 3 the storage capacity is 100 gig and some of the other details if i go ahead and click on this uh, my nfs uh, let's go ahead and click on my nfs and if you go to the summary tab it shows you the similar information NFS3, uh, this is the capacity, the host it's being mounted on, these are the different hosts. You can go to the configure, uh, you can take a look at some of the things. Files, now we are inside the my NFS just to see if we can read and write to the NFS. Let me just go ahead and try creating a folder. So we'll call it our test folder and just simply go ahead and create we are able to successfully write to our NFS. That means we have successfully 
connected to our NFS and we can do both reading and writing. So let me let me just try go ahead and deleting this folder. So let's go ahead and see do a delete folder. And we are able to successfully delete. Now let's go ahead and confirm that this NFS was really indeed got mounted on all of our three ESXi hosts. So you can go to the home, click on host and clusters. Now let's go to your first ESXi host 43. We are under the data store and within the data stores, you can see that uh, we are able to see our data store, which is my NFS three. Now let's go ahead and verify same thing on the 44. Within the 44, we can also see that uh, we can see my NFS. And let's go to the 45 as well as the 45 has been mounted on the 45 is also my NFS was mounted. With that, if you noticed in the previous lab, we had created an iSCSI storage and that was also mounted across all of the ESXi hosts. That means we can make use of our ex earlier mounted iSCSI storage as a shared storage device, or we can make use of these NFS mounted at DSR store for the shared storage also. And again, you can click on my NFS and explore some of the other details uh, that we were just looking for. Uh, Go ahead and click some of the other details it will go ahead and show you if there is any vms or any other thing is being uh, created or configured on that or not i know it's a pretty small lab pretty quick lab but you get the idea how do you access your nfs storage on your esxi how can you mount it on multiple hosts and then use that as a shared storage that'll be all for this lab thank you